Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I am in Kushtia, Bangladesh, which is one of the cultural capitals of Bangladesh. And today we have the special privilege to enjoy some amazing local Bengali home cooking. It's literally just melts in your mouth. It's buttery. And we are gonna go to the market. We're gonna buy some ingredients. We're gonna cook. And what an amazing dish. That mustard is just incredible. It's gonna be an incredible day of food and I'm gonna share all of the amazing home-cooked Bengali food with you all coming up in this video right now. The house is so cool back here with a whole courtyard and then with a whole yard, a lush yard with fruit trees and I love this backside entrance of the house. It's so natural and jungly. And then you step into the house, there's like rooms surrounding, but there's a central courtyard and then the kitchen is over on this side here where we'll be cooking, where we'll be uh, seeing some of the food process. We'll cook Elish match right now and we'll have the Elish with the panta. Together. Oh, right now for breakfast we're gonna eat yeah, fish. Yeah, right. And it's our tradition to have like pantabhat with ilish. It's our it's it's our culture. So. And then after that we'll go to the market that, and buy more fish. Mar market more fish. And more fish and we'll cook them so, together. Yes. So today is gonna be a full fish full day. Full fish day. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> a full fish day. The ilish we eat with the pantabhat okay. and uh, we eat luchi with various kind of dal or, sh or shubji or what we call vegetables ah, and everything. Right. Auntie is going to be the main chef for the day and she yeah. is, she's, <laughs> she is the, the expert like the chef. Expert, yeah. yes. She is the pro. She's the one you want to be cooking for you <laughs> when you're in Kushtia. Right. <laughs> so we are... Very fortunate today right. to have Auntie. Not everyone is. Oh man, like she you. is an amazing cook. <laughs> she is an amazing she cook. Is. You can just see her experience. So we had Ilish on the very first day that we landed in Bangladesh, but that was at a restaurant style where they fried it in mustard oil. This will be my first time at a home cooked style. Are you taking? Cumin, 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 just ground cumin. Ground cumin. Seeds. Yeah. Wow, it's so juicy too. Yeah. So all of the oils have come out of it. Oh, and green chilies, yes. Bill. Nothing says experience like the hand measure. Yeah. She knows exactly how much she added. And the mashing again. The Bengali mash. Oh, turmeric. Okay. Just with the color. Just with the color. Just with the color. Yeah. What a dish and a recipe and she's so good then she takes each steak piece of the ilish and just kind of massages it into that paste marinade that she made with the green chilies. And some water goes in and I love her measuring technique. She just knows exactly how much she's adding on her fingertips to every ingredient. That's experience. Mm, so all the pieces of fish are just slightly marinated and and f like layered in that paste. That fish is gonna cook for about 10 minutes. It's gonna like stew together and then it will be done ready. Oh. Oh. Smell. Oh, so she's just gonna part way through. That fish is ready. Oh man, sitting down for an absolutely amazing breakfast. Yes. Home cooked, everything. So we first start with the pantafat. Okay, so this is one of the main dishes that we're eating right. for breakfast. And so we actually saw her prepare this last night, the night before, when she took the day-old rice, leftover rice basically, and just added water to it, put the cover on it, and just left it until this morning. And that sort of like preserves the rice and also ferments it slightly 
but that's a traditional yeah. part of the Bengali culture because right. that's how you preserve because rice that, yes, when before we had refrigeration, the, right? Right, before refrigeration, uh, we, we had this process to preserve the food because we don't like to waste food. So For we sure. use this process to preserve it and uh, have it as well. And it's still it's so one of the delicious. favorite, and it's especially common for breakfast because yes, because yeah. you made it from the night right, before right. yesterday's yes. rice, and then you eat it the next day for breakfast. Yeah. Chilies and onions. Uh, oh, I like uh, it already. No, salt. salt. Oh, okay. Oh, and again the Bengali smash. So you have to mash up the shallots and the chilies, and the chilies with yes. your fingers into the rice, mash it all together. Oh, I love it. Oh man, this is a true, a true test of mashing a whole, a whole shallot. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Okay, you, you, you can just uh, bite, it. bite it and make it smaller <laughs> okay. pieces, and then you can smash it. There we go. Yeah. There we go. This is how we do it. <laughs> you can already feel the oil of the shallots coming oh, out okay. though, and almost making the water a little murky. Fantapat, <laughs> fantapat. Mm. <laughs> oh man. It's good, right? Yeah. It's just so simple, but so good that just always winning combination of green chilies and shallots yeah. that will never let you down. And then that rice, it's, it's pretty neutral tasting. It doesn't have much of a sourness. No, 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 no. Just like a soupy rice. I mean, it's, yeah, it's just like a soupy rice and it just is like very neutral tasting in the morning, actually. Mm. Now mm. we add the smashed potato in it. We call it alu bhatta. And you can mix that in too? Yeah. Mix Except, that in. Yeah. Combine everything. Mm. <laughs> you immediately taste the mustard oil. So this is the ilish. This is the fish that she just cooked down with jira paste and with turmeric, salt, and a little bit of oil. And green chilies. Oh, thank you. Right into your rice. Green chilies as well. Thank you. Oh man, in your fingertips you can feel how buttery that fish is. Oh man, the ilish. And you do have to be careful of the little the little bones in the ilish. Right, yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. This is so comforting. Yeah, this is delicious. I love the texture of ilish. And it does have a very unique, almost a milky texture to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, shallots are amazing. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing like waking up with just crunching into shallots for breakfast. The belly section of the fish down there, where it's even more buttery and more like creamy in texture. The butteriness of that, that fish. <sighs> this is like breakfast round two. <laughs> totally, round two. a totally different set of dishes. Oh, yeah. We're moving on to so the- either we do this kind of setup or I, this, this kind of food or all that kind of. Ah, yeah. okay. But we were just yeah. fortunate and lucky to, to have, have both, both in one meal. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Potato. Yeah, potato. Oh, like really finely shaved? Yeah, right. Nice. Okay. Doll. That looks thick and rich. Yeah. Huge chicken curry for breakfast too. It's bread, I love the vegetable dishes, the chicken curry, you can see how rich it is. The oil has just risen to the top and broken. And just the, all the spices in there, the mustard, the turmeric. Let's yeah, start with the, start. the shabji. So. Mm. <laughs> well, it's not only potato. It's like there's some squash or some pumpkins. Pumpkins in there. Yeah, sweet pumpkins. Mm. It has a sweetness to it. And it also, has just like a light blend of spice. Yeah, also eggplant. Eggplant. Yeah. That's why it's so creamy. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You really taste the cinnamon in there. Yeah. Maybe the cumin seed. And then it's just like, I mean, I love dal. I love the heartiness of it and that starchiness. Move on to the parota, yes. another fried bread. Oh, it's layer, the layers and flakiness of it. And this is especially to eat with the potato? Yeah, and with the chicken too? With the potato. With the potato, okay. Yeah. Oh man, it's just like completely shredded in a very fine texture. 
<laughs> oh, oh, that's so good. The, again, the crispy, flaky parota. That potato. Yeah. It's just like so fragrant, slightly caramelized, and this. A lot of flavor. Yeah. Oh, it's wonderful. What a breakfast spread. <laughs> oh, man. This is a rice flour bread that you specifically yes. eat with the chicken. With the chicken, yes. Chale rata roti diye. Nice drumstick. Chale rata roti diye. Mm. <laughs> oh, that chicken curry is amazing. Oh, it's just condensed spice and flavor. Mm. Oh, wow. That's a flavor overdose in the morning. Overdose. <laughs> Cumin and coriander, the clove, cardamom pods in there, the, the cinnamon to kind of wrap it all together. So we're just wrapping up this incredible breakfast and we gotta, we gotta move soon, right? Yeah. We need to get to the market <laughs> right, right. to buy fish for the next meal. Breakfast was amazing. We are walking through the street, Whoa. walking through the streets of Kustia on our way to the bazaar, to the main market where we are gonna buy some ingredients, specifically some fish for lunch. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> So welcome to the fish market. This is the bazaar. Yeah, this is the Kushtia bazaar. Oh man, there's action and colors and animals all over the place. That is a big duck. Oh yeah, that is a big duck. Yes, they've got the fresh catch of the day here. And uh, a lot of the fish here are river fish because we're right next to the major, some major river veins of Bangladesh. Hey, because of Kizine. Love the bazaar the fruits and vegetables, the sights and sounds, the colors, the energy. Ilish, Ilish, Ilish. Those are the Ilish that we ate for breakfast. Oh, and he's showing me some river prawns. Wow, nice. Dalavat, Dalavat. People are so incredibly friendly. Everyone wants to show you their fresh catch and what they have. Helicopter catfish. Helicopter catfish? Yeah, ball, ball thing ready. Almost has a green skin. Helicopter catfish. This is a helicopter catfish. So we're also getting some of the helicopter catfish. Oh man, this is what an experience here at the market. It is just extreme action happening everywhere and people are extremely friendly. Helicopter catfish. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> so we got one more Elish on the way out and now we're going to the man who's gonna slice up the fish in another section of the market. And so a razor sharp knife, the upright knife, vertical knife style where he just slices that fish, scales it, slices that fish into the variety of pieces that we need for the recipes. Yes. <laughs> We're back at the house. We've got the fish 
and Auntie is gonna cook some more dishes. All the dishes for lunch. Shallots. Shallots. Uh, this is like mustard and uh, green chili. All pounded together? Pounded together yeah. So the mustard seed? Yeah, mustard seed. Oh, yeah. That's going to be unbelievable flavor. Oh, and this one is the, the jira paste, I think. Jira? Jira. Jira. Yes. Cumin. Okay, so this is this amount of turmeric. Just for the color. color. Yeah. Coriander seed powder. Yeah. Still that aroma. That's crazy. Yeah, because she starts, she starts with mustard oil. Right. And then just immediately that like it's it has this aroma that's almost like horseradish, like wasabi coming out of it. Yeah. Strong mustard oil, the mashed mustard seed. Man. She adds in a variety of paste, a jira paste, and yeah, a shallot paste. simmering in ginger paste. <laughs> and what all the mustard recipe. paste. Yeah. What a recipe. Mm -hmm. This is that ilish. Yeah. The one we got from the market. Taste this the is her taste test. Yeah, move. taste test. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Mm. That's a classic move. The approval. Mm. <laughs> that was the nod of approval. <laughs> <laughs> <It's shy again>. <laughs> <laughs> super shy. Super shy. So that recipe is just mm. about done. Just needs to simmer for a little bit, and when the oil separates, it will be done. That smells incredible, and what an amazing dish. That mustard is just incredible. It's ready. 10 minutes. Yeah. And a masterpiece of Ilish. Yeah, right, the helicopter right, catfish right. next dish that we're making. We call it boil. Boil. Yes. It's really a beautiful white meat fish. Again, that we bought at the market. Okay. Oh, thank you. Coconut for you while we cook. Coconut delivery. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Mm. My first kushtia coconut. Oh, with the aroma of the fish frying. For this recipe, the fish is cooked separate, but then, well, it's just like light fried, then she's making a gravy with more spices that's then gonna be combined with the fish. So the fish is just fried for that edge before it's combined with the gravy. What is this one? Onion paste. Onion paste. Coriander. And coriander. So now the fish goes back into that gravy. What another stunning recipe. And she just makes, I love the way she cooks. Yeah. She just makes everything look easy. She knows exactly in her head and just, it's just like effortless cooking that she's doing. She's, that's, she's an expert. Oh, and the aromas coming out of this kitchen are out of control. Mm, A little more meat on it. 
And I love how she finishes almost every dish with a sprinkle of whole green chilies. So this is the next recipe is with yeah. the catfish. Yeah, right. We call it magurmat. So that will remove some of the muddy taste of the, the freshwater catfish. For this recipe, the other catfish, it's a very similar recipe. All of the ingredients, the shallots, the ginger, the garlic paste, the onion paste makes the gravy, and then she adds in all those spices. Very similar recipe to the last curry, but this is with that other type of catfish. Magumas, gravy. This is another dish for the fish fry? Yeah. To marinate it in for the deep frying, which yeah. will make it crispy. These small fish that she's gonna marinate and deep fry to a crisp. Uh, corn flour? The final fish. Final fried fish. Thank you to Auntie. She has just been cooking all day long. She made so many dishes with such expertise. And she, oh, she is amazing. I think the table is completely full. Everything is ready, all the fish. It's gonna be a fish feast. We're heading back across the courtyard to the dining room to start eating. Start with rice. Thank you, Rasif. This is like a dozen different fish dishes on the table. Bengali. Oh man, this is the ultimate home cooked. Bengali fish feast. I'm gonna start with the fried fish because fried that's fish, yes. hot, that's fresh, that's as crispy, yeah. maximum crispy as possible. Oh. Thank you. She fried these for probably 20 minutes or so until like completely, completely crispy. Mm. You can just eat the whole face and everything. Crunch <laughs> all the way through it. Yeah. That was just completely crispy. Mm. Oh yeah, the tail is really crispy. This one is fried tilapia. This one we can eat with the rice. Mash it in, <laughs> mash it in. Yeah. You can see that turmeric coming up. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wonderful too. And again, just that like faint aroma of the turmeric, but yeah. fried until crispy. Mm. And so this is a fish also, but dried fish? Yeah, no, no, it's or not dried. It's it is fish. like uh, fried. For mm. like a... Fried until it dehydrates yeah. and kind of right, caramelizes. Right, right. You can see that it's just completely like stringy and has been fried until like completely caramelized actually. That's just straight caramelized fish. It's sticky. You can see the green chilies in there, the shallots again. Mm. Mm -hmm. The onions in there. Yeah. Immediate, yeah. That is as caramelized as it looks. Just we love this type of uh, fish, you know. Yeah, that's really good. Mm. Oh wow, <laughs> that is just extremely tasty. Oh, well, this one I'm really looking forward to. This is the helicopter catfish. Yeah. Which again, that entire gravy yeah. is a combination of you need to pour the gravy oil, yeah. uh, plus all of those different pastes, all of the different. Um, the ginger garlic, the onion paste. Oh man, it's just so incredibly aromatic. We call it the Boalmat. The Boalmat. Boal. Boalmat. Yes. yes. The Boalmat. Match. 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 Mm. <laughs> oh wow. The cumin paste in there is just much like powering it. Mmm. This one's so good. It's so good, yeah. That's like. Incredible. And that fish, that helicopter catfish, just literally just melts in your mouth. It's buttery. It's flavorful. Just like butter, yeah. 
Thank you. Yeah, but before I rehydrate you, it. yeah, rehydrate it. Reduce it with that that sauce. Oh, and immediately as you stir it, you can smell the mustard just oh, erupting yeah. out of it again. The green chilies that she tosses in. And again, he'll show for the second time today. Be careful of the bones again. But then just aroma of that mustard paste and mustard oil that she uses in here. So it's mustard on top of mustard. Multiple dimensions of mustard, green chili. Oh, I wanna move over some of that gravy. And the shallots have just melted into the entire gravy. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, the, the mustard best. is just... This is the best. Oh, man. Oh. It tastes like you just took an entire spoonful of Dijon mustard <laughs> with fish in your mouth all at once and oh. green chilies. The pungency of that mustard, the oil plus the paste. <laughs> <laughs> that mustard on mustard. Yeah. Mm. Okay, we need to re-up on the rice. The rice just goes down so easily. Okay, next up for the catfish. Catfish, yeah. And this is, uh, again, a similar recipe to some of those other curries. All those different pastes, the fish, the gravy, the shallot gravy, which is just melted into the oil, plus the ginger garlic, plus all the turmeric, plus Oh, all the spices and the cumin paste. Oh, you can just feel that catfish, how buttery it is too. How buttery, how creamy it is. Mm. Mm. Oh. Amazing too. It's just fish after fish. So this is actually a big fish that we saw in the market, yeah. but Auntie already had one at the house. Oh, oh man, thank you. Welcome. <laughs> mm. Again, just melts in your mouth. Yeah, it has more fat. In, in yeah, it because yeah, it's the very fish fatty. Is very, very big. So very fatty. There, there are more fats. In it, like. But every every fish has its own texture and taste. Of it. Yeah, right. Completely different tastes. Completely different. Yes. It's like a really, really like pureed spinach. And, and you have to have it with the green, green chilies. Green chilies. Yeah. Squeeze <laughs> lime onto the, the spinach. That's such an amazing puree. There's green chilies already in it. Whoa. And you can feel it's like slimy and sticky. Yeah. And you and mix again into your rice. Again? Yes. And then again, chase it with a green chili. That combination. Mmm. <laughs> All the spinach has a sweetness to it. Yeah. And it's, I think I can see the garlic in there. Yeah. And garlicky, it has a bit of a slimy texture, but it's incredible. It just completely sticks to your fingers. Okay. Okay. Now, the last, but not the least, dal. Oh yes, okay. That way you ensure you fully clean your plate. Mmm. It's such a soothing yeah. ending to a meal. Fish and uh, rice bingle people. It's mm. much more Bengali. We love fish and rice. Fish together. and rice is just ingrained into yes. every yes. Bengali person. Right, right. So we love fish. Oh. So this is only fitting that we are sitting here with a, a completely fish-based feast for lunch today that truly represents the culture. Bangla yeah, food, yeah, Bangla, Bangla food culture, culture yes. and Bangla people. Yes, right. Oh yeah. Okay. Scooping in for some more rice. The helicopter catfish. Mm. Two different vegetables here. This is an okra cut so fine. Okra. Oh, this is the bitter melon. Yes. Okay, bitter melon. I'm going in for that bitter melon. And you can see how it's cut so thin to the point where all of that bitter melon is just caramelized. Mm. 
It's bitter, but it's sweet. This is so tasty, you know? Yeah. <coughs> so good, right? Fish. Bangladeshi people love fish. Love fish. Yes. 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 Mm. Good food? Good yes. food. Heavy tasty. And fresh meat. Uh, fresh fish. meat? Meat. Not meat. <laughs> meat. Fish. 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 Yes. Meat. Fish meat. Fish meat. Mustard sauce is truly spectacular. Oh man, that was just an insanely tasty lunch. Thank you so much to Andy for all of her cooking. And we are gonna continue with this one day of food. It's actually, it's gonna be every meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, home cooked, home style, real deal Bengali food. And we have dinner coming up next. But we're definitely gonna take a little bit of a rest and relaxation this afternoon, and in a few hours, we'll begin dinner. This is aloo bhatta with red chili. Nice burger with red chili. And this is what we call. Yeah, yeah, it's like uh, oh, it's a vorta. Vorta, yes. yes. Vorta. We call it smashed vorta. vorta. Smashed by the hand. <laughs> yeah. This is chicken. And this is what we call kituri. So rice and dal. Rice and dal mostly cooked like together. Mixed with like, like a lot of like spices and uh, turmeric, turmeric, uh, turmeric. Red Red chili, ginger, cardamom powders. So for dinner tonight, we're having one more special meal. So many good dishes, so many aromas. Almost time to eat dinner. Smashing the coriander, onions, and green chilies. And then tomatoes, oh yes. And it's a salad. Carrots, carrots, and, and cucumber. cucumber. The hand smash. And, uh, the volta? Uh, no, no, it's not a volta, just a salad. Salad, okay. huh? Hmm. And the mustard oil. Or salad, huh? mustard oil. Huh? Achar, mango pickle. Mango pickle, yeah. <laughs> Four. <laughs> oh, yeah. Onion horta? Onion. Yeah. Ah. Dry chili. Oh, that looks good. I know Fine. this dish. One of my favorites. You have to add ghee on top of it. Wow. Yeah. On top of the kitchen. So you're really gonna smash it up as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the warm ghee. The rice is so moist and right. fluffy. And, and mix it with some of the vodka yeah. also? Mix with everything. Oh, everything. Mix with everything. Little, little bit of everything. A little bit. Because it is a little bit hot. Okay. Not spicy, not even. Oh! <laughs> 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 it's Russian. <laughs> with eggplant, with everything. Yeah, with everything. With eggplant. We take it? I take it. Uh, yeah, okay. like this. Okay, it's all yeah. stuck yeah. together. Yeah. You know it's it passes it's ready. the test. It's ready to be it's eaten. Ready, yes. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, okay. it's very good. Very good. Oh yeah. Oh, the coriander seed and turmeric in the rice. That mm. sprinkle of ghee, the creamy eggplant. Oh, the dry chilies. Yeah. Yeah, that's wonderful. This one is different, right? Yeah. With the dry chili. Yeah. With the dried chili, with the mustard oil, with the coriander mm. seed. Mm. Oh man. <laughs> That's just cooked with so much home yeah. home love. When it rims, we love it. This one. Good, thank you. That's and good. we're going for the achar this mango, mango achar, which achar. I love. Yeah. Fermented, <laughs> probably fermented mango. Yes. And eat that together with the kitchari and with the yeah, chicken? Right, yes. So mix it all together? Right. 
grab some of that chicken, grab some of that mango pickle. Don't want to grab too much of that mango pickle because it can be quite like, yeah. salty, right? right? Like a preserve. So just a little bit to add to your flavor. Smash again. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh wow. Again, a completely different flavor profile change right. with that mango pickle. Yes. With the chicken. We love different flavor profiles uh, in every single meal we have. The like, mixing. Yeah, the mixing. The mixing and the mashing. Yeah. Like if you just eat it with the eggplant, it, it will feel different. And if you mix it, them all together, it will feel different. Different bites, yeah. yeah. Different, different bites, bites, different flavors. Different flavors. <laughs> that mustard oil. <laughs> mm. That mm -hmm. changes everything. Uh -huh. <laughs> the juiciness of all those vegetables. Mm. The tartness of the tomato and the onions. Mm. Another just stunning meal. Traditional, bro. Traditional, bro. Traditional. It has been an amazing day of food and we had every meal from breakfast to lunch, that fish feast to a special dinner. Auntie is without a doubt one of the greatest cooks in Kushtia and that was just uh, an amazing day, amazing food and the hospitality of Bangladesh. Man, it's just incredible. People are so welcoming. They, just made us feel like we are family. A huge thank you to uh, Rasif and Ipsha from Pitu Couple for arranging this at their family's home and to all of our friends, everyone joining us and sharing in this amazing day. And then I wanna say a big thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also remember to click subscribe for lots more food and travel videos. And also remember to watch the rest of the videos. We traveled around Bangladesh, ate some amazing food. Uh, be sure to check out the rest of the videos in this series as well. And I'll have the link in the description box below. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Bangladesh. Good night and I will see you on the next video.